and I'll play a little bit more, but I wanted to tell you that for me, that's what we have been doing. It's, it's dancing particles, but the resonances between us create the music that we created together. And it's in the way that we resonate. And in our tradition, we have this tradition that it was created out of sound. So for me, the two flute playing together has been a whole journey of understanding soundscapes and how soundscapes can work. And just so that you know that when I first began, I could only play the one flute. I was just in a breakout session and uh, one of the opening remarks to that session, the open space session where we sat with some of our elders and advisors, one of the first comments was, um, what I like about this gathering is people aren't afraid to show emotion. So I'm a little teary from that. I feel so honored and so I, I need you to say a few words because I need to get off stage. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, I, I can tell you a little bit what I'm doing because you'll be envious of what I'm doing. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, I'm an indigenous scholar at the Faculty of Education, and um, I have been gifted to be here in BC for about eight years, um, and seen quite a powerful change in the landscape of indigenous education, indigenous indition, uh, initiatives, and environmental things. And I have the honor of teaching uh, indigenous pedagogy and education, but also art education environmental education and health education, because in our faculty, we don't have any departments, <laughs> so I'm very lucky. Um, but in my study leave, what I've been doing is I've been completing a two-year apprenticeship in uh, West Coast Art at the Frieda Deasing School of North West Coast Art. Mm -hmm. And so I have been busy uh, doing carving and painting uh, for about 10 hours a day, mm -hmm. uh, with doing my office work. But I get to hang out with these amazing human beings who are trying to reawaken the way of seeing and way of being that was a part of the cultures of this, of this part of the world, and that is represented in their art. And I did this because art is a practice, it's a knowledge practice, and I wanted to deeply understand the knowledge practice. Um, so I wanted to serve, I wanted to be taught by the practice. Um, but I get to hang out with people like Dempsey Bob and um, Stan Bevan, uh, Reg Harrison, uh, uh, Davidson, and these Roy Henry Vickers, and these amazing human beings. And I will just tell you this story. Uh, Reg Davidson came to the Free to Deasing School, and you have 20 young people uh, from all kinds of nations and places uh, learning to carve because they want to lift up their cultures through the art. And so I'm there with um, the gray-haired lady, with 19-year-old young fellows, trying to do the place um, and do their places honor. But they're also on healing journeys. They're on very complicated pathfinding missions, I would say. And so there's a lot of work that they have to do in order to stay there. But Reg Davison came in one day, and he was talking about how four years ago, um, when they wanted to do a ceremony, they didn't have anything to do the ceremony. So his grandmother came into the kitchen and found a paper bag. And from the paper bag, she made a mask. And Reg and, and Robert had made the decision that they needed to create those things that would allow the culture to come back in ways that were honorable and had dignity. So when Reg and Dempsey stand beside each other and they say, 40 years ago, we made the decision to lift the totem poles down, up that have been trodden down. I feel that that is what we've been doing quietly in all kinds of ways, and in, in very profound ways in our places, and in the academy as well. And I think it's something that I am indeed proud of. Um, and so I feel very gifted that you know on Monday morning, I'm going back to work with the tools that I made, very humbly, <coughs> putting my head down, and Dempsey will say, God, don't you see that? You gotta learn to see that. You, know? I'll say, you don't see it, you don't know it. You don't know it, you don't see it. And so um, I get a reality check. Uh, you know? And it's, uh, it's a very good thing for me to be doing. And I would encourage all of us to step out. Um, I wasn't a flute player a little while ago, and now I play flute. And it's a pathway. It's a, I call it the discipline of the wind. And I understand more about oral tradition from the discipline of the wind than I would ever understand from reading a book, so, uh, and playing in places. Um, so, thank you, and is that good enough to help me, dear? <laughs>